Everyone likes to look into their crystal ball this time of year and pinpoint where certain players are going to end up. Heck, I did it earlier in the show. Why should we let the only contraption that we use here at the Hot Stove Report be a crystal ball? After going under the hood of the Nesson MLB trade machine, I figured out three trades that I'd like to see happen this year. First off, I'd like to see the Los Angeles Dodgers trade Yasiel Puig to the Miami Marlins. Puig's polarizing antics are well documented, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Dodgers' patience is wearing thin. Sure, he has an extremely high ceiling, and LA would be selling low with Puig coming off a disappointing season, but shipping him to Miami seems just about right. And no, it's not because he'd be another dynamic player on a talented young roster, and no, not because he'd immediately be a superstar given Miami's proximity to Latin America. It's mostly because he'd be reunited with Don Mattingly, who was recently hired as the Marlins manager. I mean, those two pretty much hate each other, so wouldn't that be entertaining? And speaking of the Marlins, how about they trade Jose Fernandez to the New York Yankees? A recent report suggested Fernandez's attitude was getting on people's nerves in Miami. If that's the case, the Fish might want to cut bait and add to their prospect pool. Trading Fernandez undoubtedly would accomplish that. And, you know what? I'd like to see Fernandez in a big market. I mean, the kid's filthy. And finally, let's go with Sonny Gray to the Cubs. The A's have said they're not trading Gray, but the Cubs have the resources to be creative. And putting the Gray in a rotation with Jake Arrieta and John Lester, among others, that seems kind of fun. Anyways, it's been a while since the Cubs enjoyed that whole World Series thing. They could use some sunny days.